The city of Golden is using some really cool technology to save animals and maybe even you out on the road. Now, wildlife crossings have been around for a while. We wanted to find out, do they actually work? Well, Denver 7's Adam Hammond investigating a high-tech update that's protecting elk and their natural movements. If you're driving up US 6 in Golden, excited to get into the mountains, the last thing you want to worry about is hitting an elk. I think he agrees. Eliza Weiss drives this way a lot and worries about wildlife. Uh, my sister has had close calls with elk and other wildlife before, so it's, you know, it's a good idea knowing that won't really be a problem for me. Take a look at these animal prints right here. You can tell how busy this crossing is. Here's how it works. This fence forces all the elk into this spot right here. They then trigger this sensor, which activates lights to alert you on the road. Look at this video of elk crossing at this intersection. Will Lowry thinks the crossing is a great idea because it preserves the elk's natural migration pattern. I, mean, I guess that is a good thing because since I was a kid, they have been migrating right through that field right in the Golden. So, I mean, I've seen that my whole life. CDOT installed this crossing back in 2010 after 30 crashes with elk the year before. The next year, that number was cut by 75%. But the bad news, those numbers gradually crept back up as people started ignoring that crossing. So in 2015, Golden added strobe lights to catch your attention. The result, no crashes between cars and wildlife at this spot all of last year. But seriously, what do the elk think about this? Okay, this is part of a larger plan by CDOT to preserve those natural migration patterns. CDOT's even gone so far as adding these wildlife overpasses and underpasses in some parts of our state. I'm Adam Hammond for Denver 7.